What's up guys, hello and welcome to another vlog episode on a bright and sunny day. Finally the days are getting warmer. Um, I fell sick for a little bit so I have not been vlogging or traveling for the last few days. But I'm feeling much better today so we're gonna go out for a spin to the local market. Uh, the reason being I recently got a new helmet, a full helmet because as I mentioned in the last one the helmet that I currently use is a half helmet so could not motor vlog on that one. So I have a new motor vlogging setup now so let's unbox that and let's go for a ride. Okay, so this is the helmet that I got. It's a full helmet with multiple modes of wearing it. So that's really cool. Um, it's the Steel Bird Made in India SBA7 Huracan because that's the only Huracan I can afford from YouTube money at this time. If, if you know, you know. Um, anyways, this is the, I chose a made in India helmet because it's easier to get the spare parts of this one and this is a well branded and almost every dealer has the parts for it. So there is a plain transparent visor on it. We're going to remove the cover very soon and inside there is a sun visor as well. So I don't need special sunglasses. Um, and then the cool thing about this is this is a flip up helmet so I could make this a half helmet as well and I could wear it just like this. And what I added additionally is this, hang on. So this is a special mount that I purchased additionally. So this is a GoPro mount. So typically on the helmets in India, people used to stick some mount using some permanent glues and stuff, which kind of destroys your helmet as well. But this is a soft plastic, uh, flexible kind of mount with straps on, a, on the chin side. And it's very, it's very rugged. So then you mount your GoPro ahead of this and then you fix your angle and then you'd be able to vlog. And the cool thing about this is there is like lots of uh, pockets inside where I could also attach a mic. So hopefully I'll be able to get the full motor vlog up and running. So we're going to test that out today. But first, let's do something very satisfying. Remove all these covers. So as you can see there is a transparent visor on the top so I can use it to drive both in the daylight and night time as well and there is a silver inner sun shield so then you don't necessarily need sunglasses and um, that should help in like extreme sunlight when you're driving because now it's bright and sunny these days and summer is approaching. So that's really cool because the other visor that I had on the other helmet had a lot of scratches so it was difficult to kind of put it down and then the visibility was very low and I wasn't getting a whole lot of spare parts for it so now that becomes for the pillion rider and this becomes mine and hopefully this helmet is going to last me good 10 to 15 years to give me the money's worth so let's mount the GoPro from the tripod onto this one um, and do a fit test. So that's my new motor vlogging setup that's how the helmet looks I and mean, i've attached my wireless road mic and the mic is inside the helmet so this is also going to be a audio test to see how the audio sounds and this is with the transparent visor and these are the cool sunshades oh i can see pretty nice it's a very clear sunglasses love it so I'm going to continue vlogging like this for a little bit just to get comfortable inside the, the helmet as well. And the mic that I attached is actually on the chin strap on the inside. So if it starts to bother me, I can easily adjust it a little bit as well. Anyways, um, the task for today is to package and reship our solar lights that we got in the beginning um, for the house because they have some defect and they are no longer working so let's see where i put them ah here so i have to find a suitable box to put them in uh, and then you know ship it back to the vendor because they don't really work they were pretty nice this is the solar panel so it charges through the day and then there were three leds on top three at the bottom and hole mounts at the bottom here this side bottom face so then you could just stick it on the wall and then it charges through the day and works through the through the night time and then it has a button here so one press would turn it on uh, and then the colors would cycle two press would 
freeze the colors and third press would basically switch it off but right now as you saw it just turns on for like two seconds and then shuts off that's the problem and that's the problem with all three of them so i told the vendor i'll send it back so let's package this and ship it back to them we go i'm going to the head post office in the city of sonipur that's about seven kilometers from here should take about 20 odd minutes cows hang out around here and we don't know what that building is behind us is it a commercial place or private property or something it has been like this for a while You see we are passing through the village so a lot of cow dung cakes here as well. I should do something with mine, the one that I grabbed before. This was more of a river rainwater catchment or a nice pond with lotuses and birds. But this needs a little bit of a clean up and this would be so cool. At the end of the road there is a hefty off-road patch and this area is very popular for all the hardware shops you get paint, glass, plumbing works, um, electrical works, anything and everything that you could think of in terms of uh, house repairs and DIY stuff. We come here quite often. Oh, wow, that's a very big Shiva temple in the village. Um, looks very neat and clean. I've never been inside. These right here are the traders for construction work supplies. You get bricks, cement, sand, um, all the construction rubble stuff that you need. And then there's hookah as well, typical Haryana culture and the bullet bike. So lots of different traders. So you get like tractor fulls from here and then you get charged by full tractor load and even cement. Not a big fan of crossing the, this kind of crossroads without traffic cops or traffic lights. This road leads to the city of Sonipat. So the homestay is in a little bit of the outskirts and this is basically the main city of Sonipat where you get all the supplies. Looks quite crowded today, a lot of traffic going left, right and center. So I have to be a little bit of careful uh, maneuvering the traffic. Okay, seems doable, not too bad. <laughs> So this area, this road is quite familiar where it says railway station, one point something kilometers. I've been there to look for the visor for my other helmet, but didn't find it. So I think I know where the post office is, should be around here. Ah, there you go. It's right there. Just have to climb this mini hill and then park inside. So this said, this is more of a storage and shipping facility. The post office is behind this building where I can go and have my package shipped immediately as, as opposed to here where they do it at 3 p.m. So I'm gonna take a mini ride from here, just turn left and then we'll be there in less than 100 meters. Finally made it to the actual post office and let's see how big the queue is and how much time do I spend inside before I'm able to ship off this parcel and get the lights replaced. Found nice two-wheeler parking at the end, pretty open space here. Let's park here, let's go inside and finish the business. Finally back in the house, uh, GoPro died along the way so I couldn't uh, vlog or finish up the vlog but Anyway, uh, that was my first attempt at motor vlogging and I have a feeling I made a rookie mistake and I forgot to turn on the mic. Uh, we'll know when we edit the vlog and if that's the case, I'd have to do voiceovers for the clips that I, <laughs> I just recorded because I think the video angle was okay, but maybe I'm missing the voice. We'll see, uh, you'll live and learn. So it's my first time trying to do something like this. So sometimes you forget, uh, especially with this road wireless mic because the mic is somewhere else. 
the receiver is somewhere else, the camera is somewhere else, you have to remember to turn on everything in a sequence, uh, sometimes you forget. So anyways, gonna end this vlog here, this is the Rustic Wanderer signing off and I'll see you again in another episode of the Indian Russian Travel Series.